So the service-oriented approach is a way we approach solving a complex application problem where all the data really isn't present in one computer system. It's somehow spread out you know, over the internet, connected via the internet or internal network. And so the, the idea is, is that some applications just can't contain everything. The, the perfect example is a travel website that can book you a flight, book you a car, buy tickets, uh, book you a hotel, and do all these things. Well, that travel website is neither a hotel nor a rental car company nor an airline. But what it really does is it talks to all these services somewhere else on the web on your behalf, and it makes reservations for you. And so you have this convenient user interface that says, oh, here's your whole vacation. I'm going to figure all this stuff out. Now you say go, and it goes book, 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 and books on all these other other systems. Now it requires a lot of infrastructure, a lot of coordination, and a lot of uh, effort to make sure that your application can talk and these other services that are out there in the internet uh, have good contracts and you know exactly how to send data to them and get data back from them. And so initially when you're building a service or an architecture often you have one application and it's all internal uh, often it's all one language, and then maybe you'll say, oh, wait a sec, we want to take part of what we do and put it in a second system, and then sort of come up with a set of rules between the systems, and then more and more and more. And this is a video that talks a little bit about the process and complexity about uh, taking these interfaces between applications and applying standards to those interfaces.